simple. Make it be something that you can produce that would be for you. You might be making it for someone else, and that is totally fine. But um, don't make it hard. Keep it simple. And remember, this is about the journey, not the destination. So let's find joy in this journey. And it's not overdoing it so much that you're not going to finish it. Okay? This is something that you can use in your walk, in your journaling. Okay? I'm not going to give that up because this is a junk journal. We use all the bits and pieces, right? So... Now, if I had a heart punch, I would put it here. I would punch out a piece of white paper so I could write in here. You may want to put a scripture across here. You can do whatever you want. But look, there's our third tag in a matter of seconds. All right. Now, you might want to come back, put some pearls, however you want to do this. Um, there's all kinds of ways that you can work with these. It's up to you. Now, one of the things that we can also do to kind of cement that in there is take one of the little leaves that's in our kit and just put it on top. And that will then sandwich that in just a little bit more. It's just another layer. That's what we do in junk journals. We create layer upon layer upon layer. I've got one more. Hold on. I'm trying to see. And I could come out here with that one. And that just balances it out. So, and again, this is just art glitter glue. It works beautifully. Love it. It is such a blessing. And it dries very quickly. How is that? Isn't that pretty? And you're going to go, but it's off center. That's okay. Because what we can do is we can just come back in and trim these and make them be kind of going one way. And that, there we go, that is quite pretty. All right, so there are three tags in just a few minutes. Now, you're looking at this going, how's that going to hold in? We're going to come back to our piece of ephemera, and we're just going to glue it. Now, you can use, and I pulled out, and I'm going to show you, you can use um, tape, and this is just tear and tape. So what this is, it's sticky on one side and a kind of like a peel on the other. A lot of people really like using this. I don't mind using the other. I think it works fine. Um, but some people like the reinforcement of both. So I, I totally get it and I totally, you know, understand. So what I'm going to do is you just put it down and then you peel it up. And so you take that sticky back paper off. And if you don't, if you have your fake red aspen nails on and you can't get it, just use a pen. There we go. And we just lift it up. Okay. And um, make sure you have down your tip. And then you just peel it up. How is that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you put it in the corner of your page. You might want it to stick over like I did there. Just make sure you don't have any glue back there. I didn't, thank goodness. I thought, as oh, so I put that down, do I have glue back there? <laughs> and then we just make sure we burnish it, keep it down. We still have all of our glitter. And now, look at that. We have a tuck for all three of our little tags. And that's it. So you can come back, you can put pictures, you can journal. Um, this is a great place for a picture. I hadn't even thought about that. You can journal and you can journal on the back of this as well, or maybe add some more, put, uh, put pictures on it, whatever you'd like to do. Um, you can even journal back here and then you cover it up with all of your tags. Okay. And maybe you don't want all three tags here. You can put them in here until you have another place to add them later. So, that's it. So this is today's project and it's a craft tip all in one. I hope you're okay with that today, guys. Please forgive me. I really do feel a little under the weather, so I hope you'll understand. Um, I also want to encourage you to save all these. Don't lose them. Put them back in your bag. Put them back in your box. And then I also wanted to show you too. Um, 
even these little pieces of lace, you can still use those on things. It's really amazing to me. Um, had I been thinking, I could have layered it up underneath the little, you know, bike here. Um, it looks pretty. It's very easy to use. I'm going to keep that. And then finally, um, I wanted to also show you, and of course, this is that tear, and, tear tape. I can't remember where I got that. Probably Tuesday morning. Who knows? Probably in a kit. Who knows? You can also take these and make a big tag. And um, I'm going to use this for something different. And I'm going to use this in tomorrow's project. You can use it as a tag or you can use it for what I'm going to use it for, for tomorrow. So I'm just going to stick it in here for tomorrow's project. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is the craft tip and day six all in one. I hope you've come away with a couple of ideas of using what you have. Use your stash. Use things you already have that were not meant for that purpose. How wonderful was that as a tag? Um, and now it's a journaling spot in our little, it's a tag and a journaling spot. So we just added a little bit to it and voila. So, all right, friends, let's go back. I'm sorry, I've got glue all over me. Excuse my hands. All right, let's go back. We'll look at our scripture one more time. We'll read it and then I will let you go. Little children, let's not love with word or with tongue, but in deed and in truth. And again, that is 1 John 3, 18. I hope you've enjoyed this today. I pray that you've been blessed and encouraged. And let's pray, and I'm going to let you go. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you, God, for today. I praise you for each and every person who is here today that hears my voice. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you will encourage them. And even the things that we do when we're young, we don't know why sometimes we do the things that, you know, clearly you're guiding our footsteps. Clearly, it's not the easiest thing to do. But then as we look back, as, as we grow older, and we thank you, Lord, for those lessons that you've taught us at such a young age. What an opportunity to serve you, Lord, at any age, God. Lord, I pray that as each person looks at the scripture today, they can think about how they can love and show your love through the things that they do, through deeds. And that it will be truthful in their actions. It won't be manufactured. It won't be something to manipulate. It will just be a genuine way to show your love. I pray for each and every one of us that we can think of that as we go through this day. God, we thank you so much for all that you're doing. We praise your name and we thank you so much for John and what he wrote in your Bible that you guided his writing to teach us today. We love you, Lord. Thank you so, so much. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, I do not think that I can uh, film for tomorrow, and that's okay. I'm good with that. I really, really am. Um, I still have a private class video to get up. I'm going to rest a little bit, and I'm going to try to get that up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start loading. It should This should already be in the process of loading, but that's okay. We're still... Um, you know, early in the afternoon, but you know, I've literally been loading a regular plan with me for over, it's been almost three hours and it hasn't loaded yet. So hang with me guys. There is something that has gone on. Um, supposedly we missed all that time. So they'd give us faster internet. I think it didn't work, but we'll see what's going to happen. I've got to call and talk to them. Okay, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative and lovely. Thanks so much for stopping by. I pray that you are encouraged this day and uh, go out and serve God well. He loves you so. You are his child. Don't forget, if you know him as Savior in your life, you are a child of God. And you have the opportunity to not only receive his love, but to give it back. Okay, friends, I'll talk to you later. Y'all take care. And um, hopefully I will be back tomorrow and this tummy thing will have passed. Okay, guys. Um, Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.